first heard about Pacific North Weird, a friend of mine was working on a 48 hour horror film challenge and uh, Vince somehow got involved and uh, if you know Vince, it's not hard to like the guy. I've been friends with Vince for a number of years now. I run Last Word Books and Press in downtown Olympia and we've worked fairly closely with him over the last couple of years on a few different projects. And uh, we've got a, his big shelf of Pacific North Weird's favorite books uh, down at our bookstore. And uh, it's just one of my favorite eccentric characters that I've met. I have been friends with Vince for know, about five years before he started doing Pacific North Weird. And he started doing it and I've been following it because it's awesome and I'm proud of my friend. Um, I think I found out about the Pacific North Weird just coming through the Facebook or somebody posted a YouTube video and I, living in Olympia, I just saw Vince around and then I started seeing him. Uh, we bring our UFO to UFO festivals um, and so we started seeing him at all of those and trying to connect and find a... We really, really, when we built the UFO, we wanted to work with Pacific North Weird. Uh, well, it was a couple of years ago, uh, just kind of caught wind and lived in a small town and um, the one episode that stands out the most was about the uh, Raptor School of Enlightenment. I'm from Yelm and uh, that, that one was a very entertaining episode. <laughs> um, today I was the production assistant. I uh, wrapped towels around naked people and uh, helped Tyler with his various suit needs and drink a beer. <laughs> I mean, a chance to get publicly naked. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> come on. That's, how often does that come up in your life? Today, um, he asked about you, uh, the UFO, and I love any opportunity to be on camera. I saw, I think, uh, one of his posts online uh, looking for actors and extras for the filming, and I thought it sounded fascinating. And at first, I thought I was just going to be one of the nudists in the background, and then last week he asked me to play the role of Jesus Christ. So of course I said yes. Yeah. Well, that just sounds all very much fun and weird to me, and I'm glad to host it. It's uh, glad to share the space for, for uh, you know, such an occasion. <laughs> well, yeah, getting weird and uh, supporting the arts. Yeah. I made the sage decision to take mushrooms before I came out, and so everything's just dandy. It rained a lot. It was, it was awesome. I had a good time. It went amazing. That was quite the sight. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah, amazing. It was great. Uh, the, the shoot today, Venusians, vegetarian, nudist. I mean... And Christian. And Christian. Christian, vegetarian, nudist, Venusians. Venudistians is how I like to call them. Global warming, climate change. I had a bunch of naked Venusians cavorting about, uh, laying upon the pans. I mean, that's bucket list material right there. So I get to cross that off. I've done a lot of stuff with Vince, shooting uh, really ridiculous things. And, uh, and also recoculous things. This is probably the most ridiculous and recoculous uh, request I've had from Vince. Uh, might be my last gig with Pacific North Weird. It's kind of getting out of hand. And, uh, but, you know, I try, you know, just fucking weird shit all the time. And 
that wasn't my fucking contract either. I think that is frickin' rap. Rap. Woo! Rap. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're being surrounded by a bunch of people with clothes on, huh? <laughs> <laughs>